The phrase six feet under is so common, it's almost synonymous with death. It's a poetic euphemism, a nod to a bygone burial tradition. But have you ever wondered why graves were dug six feet deep in the first place? And more intriguingly, why many burials today don't follow this depth? Let's dig into the historical, practical, and scientific reasons behind this fascinating shift in funeral practices. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The six-foot burial standard traces its roots to 17th century England, specifically during the Great Plague of London in 1665. At the height of the epidemic, fear of disease transmission was rampant. Authorities, desperate to curb the spread, issued a rule requiring graves to be at least six feet deep. The idea was that a deeper grave would prevent the stench of decay from escaping and reduce the chances of animals digging up corpses. In short, it was a public health measure born out of panic and limited understanding of disease. However, this depth wasn't based on science. The six-foot rule became more of a guideline than a universal standard, yet it stuck around, perhaps because it sounded official or simply because it was easier to enforce than to rethink. Over time, this practice traveled across the Atlantic and influenced burial customs in other parts of the world, including the United States. Let's face it, Digging a six-foot grave isn't easy. For centuries, it required manual labor with shovels and pickaxes. Grave diggers often had to contend with rocky soil, water tables, and sheer exhaustion. So while six feet may have been the goal, it wasn't always practical to reach. In many cases, graves were dug to depths that balanced effort with necessity. Four feet? That worked fine in areas with compact soil. Two feet? probably too shallow, especially for keeping scavengers away. Six feet, ambitious, but not always necessary. The reality was that grave depth often depended on the local soil conditions and the physical stamina of the diggers rather than strict adherence to a rule. Fast forward to today, and the six-foot burial depth is far from the norm. Modern cemeteries often bury remains at depths closer to four feet or even less, depending on the type of burial. Why the change? Several factors come into play. For starters, land is at a premium. Cemeteries are running out of space, especially in urban areas. Shallower graves allow for more efficient use of the limited land available. In some places, double-depth graves are used, where one casket is placed on top of another, separated by a concrete slab. This wouldn't be possible if all graves were dug six feet deep. Environmental concerns also play a role. Green burials, where remains are buried in biodegradable materials without embalming, are becoming more popular. These burials typically require shallower graves to allow for natural decomposition and nutrient return to the soil. Interestingly, burial depth can influence how a body decomposes. Decomposition is a natural process driven by microbes, oxygen, and soil conditions. When a body is buried six feet deep, the lack of oxygen can slow this process significantly. Shallower graves, on the other hand, allow for more oxygen and microbial activity, which accelerates decomposition. For green burials, this is a key benefit. The idea is to return to the earth as naturally and quickly as possible, without interfering with the ecosystem. Traditional embalming and deep burials can delay this process, creating a kind of time capsule rather than a natural cycle. Cemeteries today operate under a patchwork of rules and regulations, which vary widely depending on the country, state, or even municipality. In the United States, for example, there's no federal law mandating a specific burial depth. Instead, local health departments and cemetery operators decide what's appropriate based on factors like soil type, climate, and public health concerns. In many cases, 
a depth of three to four feet is deemed sufficient. This is deep enough to prevent odors and deter animals while still being manageable for cemetery workers. For cremated remains, the depth may be even shallower as urns require much less space. Another reason the six-foot standard has fallen by the wayside is the growing popularity of alternatives to traditional burials. Cremation, for instance, has become the most common method of handling remains in many countries. It's cost-effective, space-efficient, and allows families to keep or scatter ashes in meaningful ways. There's also a surge of interest in more unconventional options, like burial at sea, tree pod burials, and even human composting. These methods are designed to be eco-friendly and align with the values of individuals who want to minimize their environmental impact after death. Cultural shifts and technological advancements have also reshaped burial practices. Today, many families prioritize personalization over tradition. Some might choose a shallow burial in a natural cemetery surrounded by wildflowers, while others might opt for cremation and have their ashes turned into a diamond. Technology has made it possible to memorialize loved ones in digital spaces too. Virtual memorials, online tributes, and even QR codes on headstones are becoming more common. These innovations reflect how burial practices are evolving to meet the needs of modern society. Despite these changes, the six-foot rule still looms large in the collective imagination. Some believe it's a legal requirement. It's not. Others think it's the only way to ensure safety and sanitation, though modern embalming, vaults, and cemetery maintenance make this unnecessary. Even the fear of animals digging up graves, a valid concern in the 17th century, is less relevant today. Cemeteries are typically well-maintained and modern burial techniques make it nearly impossible for scavengers to disturb remains. Ultimately, the shift away from six-foot burials reflects a broader trend, the move toward more thoughtful, personalized, and sustainable end-of-life practices. While the phrase six feet under might endure as a metaphor, it's no longer a literal requirement. Instead, burial practices are adapting to the needs of modern society balancing tradition with practicality and environmental consciousness. So, the next time you hear someone mention six feet under, you'll know the story behind it and why we've largely left that depth behind. As with many traditions, it's a mix of history, practicality, and the evolving values of the living. And there you have it, a deep dive into why six feet isn't the gold standard for graves anymore. It's a story of plague-era panic, the realities of grave digging, and a world that's rethinking how we say goodbye to our loved ones. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.